Okay. Let's, uh, based on our previous example, uh, the example that we take the value from the user, remember, we add up two numbers. Okay, now we are going to do another sample so that you can fully understand. Alright? So, we are going to ask the user to enter two values. One is the quantity, one is the price. Okay? How much they bought certain item and at what cost that they bought. So that we can calculate how much they have to pay. Alright? So now, let's create some variables. Okay? Mm, let's create the product name. Because we want the user to enter the product name as well. So let's name it as item name. Okay, and then we have the item price, and then we have the item quantity. I'm using short form, and then I have bill, which is how much they have to pay. All right, so because this is between the system and the user, there's some user interaction at this particular line. I have not got any data from the user yet. Okay, still I don't know what the user is going to key in. So for the item name, I don't know yet. So I have to put it as empty. Okay, I cannot put it as zero because item name is not a number. So I cannot put it as zero. Alright, so I do it this way. This means it's a space. Empty space. Alright. For the price, okay, item price, I don't know. So, I put it as zero. Okay, item quantity, I don't know yet. I put it as zero. And the bill, I don't know yet. I put it as zero. Okay, very simple. Now, let's ask the user for some data. I have to ask them for the name for the price and how much they bought. Of course, I won't ask them for the bill. How can you ask the user for the bill that they have to pay, right? The system should, should generate the bill. So now, again, when you want something from the user, use prompt. So product, keep it simple, product name. Okay. And where am I going to keep this product name? I'm going to keep it in item name. So I put it in front here. So whatever that the user key in will directly be stored inside item name. Okay. Next one will be the price. So prompt again. Okay. Here is price or product price. Okay, and then I'm going to keep it in item price. And finally, I have the item quantity, which will keep the quantity bought by the user. Okay, simple as that. Okay, now, before we proceed, think, okay, think. Item name is a text, okay, it's a text, huh? so no conversion is needed, alright, no conversion is needed, just prompt is enough. Price, okay, price is a number which has a decimal point in between, like for example, the price might be uh, 3 ringgit and 65 cents. Okay, got point there, right? So, we need to convert. Alright, we need to convert. So, we use pass float. Okay, brackets. And at the end here, put another bracket. Okay, now, why float? Whenever you have a number with decimal point, Whenever you want to convert, you convert using float, pass float, F 
capital. Okay. Now, for quantity, all right. For quantity, uh, you cannot buy. Uh, I uh, you cannot buy half a product. You cannot buy a quarter of a product. Meaning, whatever that you buy, you need to buy like in a full uh, number, in a whole number. All right. So when you convert, you convert using int. Meaning, if I buy a cake, all right. If I buy a cake, it must be a whole number. I cannot buy one, one and a half cake. Alright, it's one cake or two cake or three cake. So, integer. Alright, now we can do a formula. What is the formula? Bill. Why bill? Because this is the place that I want to store the whole uh, sum of payment. Alright. So, how do you calculate the bill? The bill will be calculated based on the price of the product and how much you have bought. Okay, so basically, item price multiplied with item quantity. That's all. Alright, so now we can do our printing. So, let's use document.write. And here, the first one is the name of the product. Okay. Plus with item name. Okay. I'm going to put a break in front. So that it will be nice when I display it. Okay. I'm going to copy this. Okay. Name. Next is the price. I'm going to put RM. Then comes the quantity that the user has bought. And finally is the bill. Here will be RM. Okay. So for name, it is item name. For price, it is item price. To make it nice, I'm going to put dot to fixed. And put it as 2. So that it will be having 2 decimal places. Quantity is item quantity. And bill will be bill. Again, because this is uh, currency, right? So I'm going to convert. So that it will look nice when I display. Okay, so I'm having four variables. I have three prompts. I have one formula. And I have four printing statements. Okay, save this and refresh. First thing they ask is my product name. Let's say I bought a radio. Okay, next the price. Do not put the symbol. Don't put RM. Okay, just put the number. So let's say it's 120 ringgit. Okay, next they will ask me, okay, how much did you buy? How many did you buy? So let's say I bought three radios. So okay, this is what I'll get. Okay, the name of the product. How much is the cost of one product? How much, how many did I buy? And what is the total payment? 1, 2, 0 multiply with 3 is 3, 6, 0. So, this is how you can have some interaction with the user, ask them for some information, do some calculation for them, and then display the result.